Well, this is a little interview with Chuck for Midwest Case Management. Chuck, what do you got to tell us? Well, my name's Chuck Newt. I'm 55 years old, and I've been working here at Midwest Case Management for a year and a half. Um, my job here at Midwest Case Management is as a paralegal, and I work on doing criminal expungements for clients. And I really appreciate the job I have here. I enjoy the work. I feel I'm doing a valuable service for our clients in the state of Indiana. Unlike many other states, almost all criminal convictions can be expunged with a few exceptions. Regardless of whether they are felonies or misdemeanors, arrests only can all be expunged. Um, I feel like I've, I've changed a, a lot of people's lives by giving them a fresh start in life with uh, as far as being able to get new uh, better jobs or in some cases allows them to get promotions once they get their expungement completed. Um, so I believe I've changed not only the person who gets the expungement's lives but also the lives of their families by being able to help them provide better for their families. Um, I've, uh, I, I seriously enjoy working with the people here and of course I work I, I enjoy working with the clients. Um, I, I think one of the reasons why I work here is because I really enjoy trying to help other people and to improve their lives. Uh, okay, you, how many would you say uh, cases have you worked on so far? Oh, I've probably, we've probably cycled, um, I'm going to say somewhere 30 to 40 expungement cases in the year and a half that I've worked here. And those are completed, you mean? Those are completed all the way through the court and everything. They've been granted for the people. And so in the case of Indiana, once a person has their expungement, uh, nobody can hold their past criminal convictions against them for any purpose, regardless if it's for work, going to school, if they need a professional license, if they want to go become a teacher or a nurse, once they've had their crim criminal history expunged, nothing can stop them. Now, just to be clear, too, we also work with an attorney. Uh, we can't just up and do this ourselves, right? That is correct. In the state of Indiana, uh, paralegals do not have the ability to practice law of any kind um, and so we do have to operate through an attorney. We're located in, in, in Anderson, Indiana and our attorney is located in South Bend, Indiana. And so all of our communication and all of our paperwork exchange is done through PDF files and whatnot through uh, email. And so that's how we do all of our exchange. It's really we're really fortunate, aren't we, to have uh, the, the attorney that works with us because he's pretty much unpaid volunteer except for expenses. Absolutely, we couldn't ask for a better man or a better person in regards to uh, who who is working with us because uh, because it, I just don't think I think he's irreplaceable. If you want to know the truth. One other thing too is we've we probably finished about 40 or so, but we get a lot of people that aren't really quite ready yet for uh, expungement. Isn't that right? This is true. Just because you walk in the door and want an expungement doesn't necessarily mean that you're qualified for an expungement. In the state of Indiana, there are certain time requirements in, re in regards to who is qualified for an expungement. In the case of a felony conviction, a person has to wait eight years from the date of conviction, in some cases even ten years if it involves serious bodily injury, and then with misdemeanors a person has to wait five years from the date of conviction, and even if you were only arrested, you have to wait one year from the date of arrest, regardless of whether or not you were convicted, uh, you still have to wait. Could we set up a formula of how many people you've talked to in relation to how many people have had their expungement granted? Well, I would say that it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 60-40 in favor of not being able to get their expungement or 
they just simply didn't return. Um, I, I kind of like to say, you know, there's a lot of people who come in the door who actually qualify for the expungement, but then they don't follow through with it for whatever reason. And I, I like to say that, you know, there are people in life who are, are satisfied with living off the system or collecting welfare or whatnot, and then there's others who want more out of life. And we see, we see both sides of that coin walking through our door. With uh, the people that uh, aren't ready, let's say, that's not to me say that we, we just reject them or say you can't ever come back, right? Oh, absolutely not. No. Uh, in fact, there have been people who initially did not qualify when they first came in into our office, but within a year or a few months even after they've come in and we initially told them they weren't qualified, as time passes, they do become qualified and there have been people that have actually waited out that little bit of time and come back and we've processed their expungement for them and away they go. And it's also true that we have some work that we've been doing with the prosecutor on early expungements, is that right? That is true. In Indiana, the prosecutor has quite a lot of power in regards to these expungements in that the time periods that I just quoted with you are subjective to prosecutor re review and a person, if the prosecutor deems them to be worthy, he can, he can waive some of that time. Now, he will not try to overrule a sentence as far as uh, if a person's on probation or something like that, they are still going to be on probation. And, and a per in fact, a person who is on probation or parole is not qualified for expungement. And so the prosecutor will not try to overrule that because then he would be taking the place of a judge and that just can't happen and so but as far as the waiting period from the date of arrest say for instance in, in a case of a felony it's eight years sometimes if the prosecutor sees that the person is really has actually made a turn for the better he can waive some of that eight year time period if he believe he or she determines it's proper well, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate your insights and your helping to fill us in on this. And we really appreciate your efforts at Midwest, too. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.